Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. Today's video is going to be about retirement and don't screw it up. Now, I talk to many people my age, um, retirement age, 60 and 60 plus. I was lucky I retired at 50 year old, but majority of people retire at 60 and upwards. So I've talked to many, many different people and I always ask sort of the same questions with regard to retirement and planning and um, what their retirement is going to be like. And I've heard many, many, many stories and hence this video, retirement, don't screw it up. Because at retirement, you've only got one chance. You have no time for recovery. Now me, I, I started my retirement planning when I was 42. I was lucky the fact that I could retire at 50 and I knew I was gonna get a lump sum and I knew I was gonna get a monthly pension for life. So I had the every intentions of retiring at 50 year old, no matter what. And divorce came along and obviously altered my retirement plans. So when we're young, we're invincible. We're never gonna get old, we're gonna live forever. And then the next thing, you're old and you're about to retire and you realize that there's many things have stood in your way with regard to having a retirement plan. And one of the biggest mistakes for retirement planning is waiting too long. Waiting and waiting and waiting, there's always something more important to do with your money than put it into a retirement plan. So building a nest egg over all of them years of your working lifespan to be able to retire and live a comfortable life once you get to them golden years and do all the things that you've been planning to do all of them years. I've got down six reasons for screwing up your retirement and there are many more I'm sure but talking to various people these are the top most common things that have altered the retirement planning of majority of the people that I've spoken to and the number one issue for altering their retirement plans is divorce divorce is number one majority of people that I've spoken to divorce comes in at number one divorce scuppers more plans than anything else on my list Basically, when you get towards retirement age, you've got the house paid for, you've got insurances and you've got your pension. But if you don't have any of these things, now I'm for the normal working person, and if you're a wealthy person, it probably gives you a little bit of a hit. But on a normal working person's salary, it's difficult to recover. And if you go through the divorce route, you're possibly going to lose the house if your wife has children, because then she'll get the house because she's got children to take care of. And it's all ugly scenario getting divorced. And if you haven't got a, <coughs> a property, just say you're renting somewhere, then they can arrest your pension because if your wife doesn't work, then she's entitled to take part of your pension. Or this is how it goes in the UK, and I'm sure it goes the same way in most other countries, is that the state don't want single women being reliant upon the benefit system. So therefore they will arrest some of your pension and then you're gonna lose a big chunk of your pension to your better half. Or what was your better half before you got divorced? This alters your retirement prospects dramatically. It absolutely is a game changer. So be wary of this when you're doing your planning. Have a few plans, what if this happens, what if that happens? Just look at it, we live in a different world nowadays. The number two reason for altering your retirement plans are kids. Yeah, kids. Kids can be expensive as they grow older. For instance, if you decide to let them go to university, they're gonna build the debts up and then they're gonna be struggling to pay the debts before they get the jobs, blah de blah de blah And you could be paying their university fees in, a, in an effort to give your kids a good financial start. The average university debt in England is about 40 or 50 thousand pounds and so they, they have to sort of pay their debts off and they're paying nine percent interest on the debts. So basically once your children leave the university they'll pay them debts until the age of 51 and then it stops at nine percent of their salary. So again, if you want your children to be debt free, they could take 40 or 50 thousand pounds out of your retirement fund, which is actually a big amount of money. And then the third reason is again, what do you think it is? Kids again, kids again. Kids can be a massive drain to your nest egg that you're going to retire and live happily ever after on your golden years because 
trying to get on the housing ladder now you need at least 10 or 20 percent deposit so the bank of mum and dad may come in handy again paying a big deposit for the house so they can get on the housing ladder so therefore the bank of mum and dad helps out again and the next one again kids can you retire because if your kids are starting they've got a massive mortgage then maybe you've got the university debts they have a couple of children Childcare. Childcare is very, very, very expensive. And I know in my day that we relied heavily on my wife's parents to look after the kids whilst we went to work because we couldn't afford the childcare costs. And it's the same nowadays. People can't afford to put the children in private daycares because it's so expensive. So your retirement plans, you might be the new childminders for your, for your kids. And let's face it, we all want to help our kids at the end of the day, but once you get into them retirement ages, you haven't retired to be able to look after the kids and do things. Or some people might love that type of thing, but if you have your retirement planned for the future and you were gonna go around the world and travel and see everything before you curl your toes up, your kids might have something else to say about that and they may alter your whole retirement plans. And reason number four, lack of money to retire because of the above because you've spent your retirement money or your lump sum when you're retired so helping your kids out could be the worst screw up of your retirement ever reason number five poor planning because when you're young you were going to live forever you were never going to get old and tomorrow you can start saving up for your retirement tomorrow and then various things come along and you actually never ever do it and the sixth reason for screwing up your retirement is actually not doing any planning any saving you just rely on your day-to-day -day living and thinking when you get to retirement the state pension will kick in and you'll be able to retire on your state pension so therefore making no further provisions just living on state benefits the pension you paid into all your working life and in reality that's not enough to live on the state pension old age pension is not enough to live on in England. I can assure you of that. And with all the things that are going on at the minute, having a retirement with no money or very little money isn't a happy place to be. But there are things you can do about it, for sure. I've done a few videos about living on a small amount of money here in Thailand. So if you're in that position where you don't have a lot of money, for your retirement there are other options that you can do also you don't need an awful lot of money to retire on here in Thailand and I've done many many videos with regard to, to saying that food is cheap accommodation is cheap the cost of living here in Thailand is much cheaper than it is in the Western countries so it's a big big step moving away from your family moving away from your loved ones but at the end of the day, do you want to struggle or do you want to live a good lifestyle even if you have to relocate to another country? It is possible, it can be done and I am proof of that. I've lived here in Thailand now for 10 years. I am proof that you can live over here on about £1,200 per month, living in a nice house, living in a nice area, living a good lifestyle, far better than the lifestyle I could afford to live in the UK. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Please leave your comments down below. I'd be interested to read them and I try to answer every single comment that somebody writes. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Till the next video, bye for now.